hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel in case you're wondering how i got to looking this fabulous well from looking like this um i'm gonna tell you something watch on but first we have to go back in time i see you hide yourself so guys, it all started with this dress. As you can see, beautiful dress. Ignore the pattern. What we are picking from this inspiration is just the colors. So basically, this look is like brown, green, and white. Majorly, that's the colors on the dress. And we are going to start off directly now with hyaluronic acid that we are going to apply all over our face just to make sure that our pores are filled in, you know, like properly with the right kind of thing before we apply our makeup. So after that, I'm just going to apply a moisturizer and uh, yeah because i just want those pores to be properly filled and then after that i'm going to apply my um maybelline fit me although i did not show you when i was applying the maybelline fit me it's not for the eyebrows guys the maybelline fit me primer is for the face so it's a facial primer i've just combed up my eyebrows and i am filling them in just randomly drawing strokes of hair like structures on on the eyebrows just to make sure that they look like they're bushy and then i've just gone in with the rimmel kind and no not the rimmel kind of what <laughs> guys 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 the rimmel eyebrow wax and then together with the usual culprits which is the um illegal pro conceal concealer and this is the shade phone that's what i'm using to like clear my brows and to make them pop highlight my brows and then now i'm going to go in with this maybelline fit me concealer and this is the shade caramel and i'm just going to dab it all over my eyelids and this is going to act as an eyeshadow primer you want to use an eyeshadow primer guys and then after that i'm just going to take this dark brown shade as i said the colors are dark brown green and white and then i'm going to dab it on the outer corner of the eyes and then above that dark brown just slightly above it i'm going to apply this slightly lighter shade of brown and then after that we are going to go in with a golden shade beautiful gold and we're just going to apply it at the top near the eyebrow and then after that we are going to do our cut crease and for the cut crease um concealer i'm going to use this nyx concealer because it's really really opaque like it covers it up even if your eyeshadow was black it's going to cover it up so that's what i'm going to use for the cut crease and then after that i'm just going to apply like some brown outside the cut crease and then on the main cut crease i'm just going to apply like a really nice green i don't know what to call that green honestly nowadays greens come in so many shades i have no idea I'll just call it pastel green so i'm just going to apply that pastel green all over the eye at the cut crease and then also on the bottom eyelid i've applied a little bit of the green and below that green i've just applied the dark brown and then we're going to do some eyeliner because cut creases i feel like they always look weird without eyeliner so i've just drawn a wing using a black eyeliner and then on top of the black eyeliner i'm just going to draw a white line so you might not see the black eyeliner but you can see the white definitely and then i'm just going to draw a star because we feel like a star today honestly so i'm just going to draw a star with a white pencil just outline the shape first and then i'm going to go in with that white eyeliner and just draw us I, I can't call it a star a sparkle yes that's a sparkle guys because we want to glitz and glisten when the sun hits us i guess anyway and then today i'm mixing two foundation shades but they're not my usual culprits one is my usual culprit which is the clinic even better foundation in the shade pecan it's usually so red on my skin and the other one is the uh, revlon because i realized that i've stayed with that revlon for too long it might just expire if i don't use it so the revlon photo candid foundation and that's the shade 510 and i've just mixed them it still is giving me a greenish color on my face but you know it's not that bad and then now i'm just going to go in with the same nyx concealer and i'm just going to use it in the areas that i want highlighted concealed and yeah generally areas that i want to pop on my face like under my eyes and also to hide any hide any shadows just like around my mouth there are shadows around my mouth maybe i have a mustache who knows their shadows and then um, after that we are just going to dump in uh, 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 guys guys anyway we're just going to dab in <laughs> dab in a little bit of powder 
um, under our eyes and as you can see the powder is not as light as what people commonly use for setting their concealer because the concealer shade was too light as you guys might have noted the concealer shade was too light so i use kind of a slightly darker shade it's darker it's lighter than my skin tone but it's slightly dark for a setting powder to use under your eyes and then I've, if you haven't noticed i've also contoured my nose but i haven't set the contour yet and then now we're just going to draw our lips and as i said as i always say guys if you know that you're not going to blend your lips thoroughly do not use a black lip liner just use a brown one that will be perfect for you but i love using black because i love working hard and i love blending so that's what i'm going to use and then i'm just going to go in with that maybelline superstay uh, lipstick there are actually two that i've gone in with that maroon one and this other one and then on top of that i'm going to apply the maybelline lifter gloss and then our lips are good to go so we're just going to remove the excess setting powder that we did apply under our eyes and then we're also going to you know make sure that the nose contour is normal and not just some marks on our nose and then after that we are going to apply another powder which is my black opal setting powder in the shade medium and i'm just going it's a loose powder and i have just applied it all over my face and then now we've just applied a little bit of blush on our face just to make sure that our face you know has some color to it it's not flat and yeah after doing the blush i have to do the highlighter of course you guys know i have to do highlighter because i'm obsessed with that nyx high glass highlighter and it's usually in the shade golden hour as in that highlighter is everything guys i don't know if you're my skin tone and you haven't discovered that highlighter it's everything like it just produces a really subtle sheen but it's just so beautiful yeah so basically that's what i'm applying on my cheeks right now as you can see it's already making me glow and this is the final look guys <laughs> I could cry so beautiful as you can see it really matches that dress yeah so guys don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next video bye